Good day. So, so far, we've been talking about iterative methods for solving systems of linear equation. And we said we have three methods for doing so. The Jacobi method, the Gossedal, and the successive over relaxation. So we've done the Jacobi and the Gossedal. And in this lesson, we'll be talking briefly about the SOR. So when you talk about the successive over relaxation method, it's a variant of the Gossedal method for a faster convergence. All right, so what this definition means is that um, when you take the SOR, the SOR is just the same as the Gossedal, which has been imposed, like there is a weight imposed on it. So when you impose a weight on the Gossedal, then we have the successive over relaxation. And because we impose this weight, normally we term it omega on the SOR, it makes the SOR <coughs> faster than the Gossedal. So we always impose a weight, and our weight is always between. 0 and 2. So when our weight is between 0 and 1, when our weight is between 0 and 1, then we say that we are doing what we call successive under relaxation. When our weight is equal to 1, then we have the Gossedal. And if our um, weight omega is between 1 and 2, then we have the successive over relaxation. So now for the successive over relaxation, we mostly deal with omega values between 1 and 2, and preferably we mostly use omega equals 1.1. So let's revise our iterative method, the system for solving. As we realize that we said, when you are solving systems of linear equation iteratively, so let's consider this 3 by 3 system. So E11x1 plus E12x2 plus E13x3 equals B1. Then we have E21 so E21x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 equals b2 and we have a31 x1 plus a32 x2 plus a33 x3 equals b3 so you realize that with this 3 by 3 system or 3 systems of linear equations when you want to solve this using linear iterative method, the first thing you are supposed to do is to make S1 the subject in equation 1, S2 the subject in equation 2, and X3 the subject in equation um, 3. So let us start. So making S1 the subject in equation 1, we are going to get X1 to be equal to B1 over E11, or multiplying negative E12 X2 minus E13 X3. Then, making S2 the subject from equation 2, we we'll end up with B2 over A22, then minus A21x1 minus A23x3. So making S3 the subject from equation 3, we we'll have B over 3, so... We have this, and we have this, and we have this. I hope you understand how we got this. All right. So you realize that with the Jacobi and the Gossedal, this is what we are doing. Then after that, we do our iteration. Okay. But for the SOR, when we get here, then we add our weight to. The equation, three equations we have here, 
So this is how we add our weight to it. So we add the weight to this. So this times the weight and this time the weight. And when it gets here, it is plus 1 minus the weight. Then you see here it is x3, so we have x3. Then here it will be plus 1 minus the weight. Then we have x2. And here to be plus 1 minus the weight. Then we have um, x1. So you should know that we are doing the Gossidal and it's just that we are adding the weight to it. So you realize that when our weight is 1, you realize this part goes to 0, go 0, 0, and this is 1 times this, which will give you the same thing. 1 times this, which gives the same thing. 1 times this. That's the reason why we see when our omega is equal to 1, then the SOL tends to the Gossidal. You realize that because it is the um, Gossidal. We have it in this form, but when you are doing the iteration, we use the iteration process that we learned for the Gossidal to do it. So this is a general overview of the successive over relaxation method. So note that the Jacobi is slow, the Gossidal is fast, but the fastest of them all is the SOR. So in our next video, we will illustrate the concepts of this SOR with um, an example, a solved question. Thank you very much.